Bismillah ve salatu ve selam ar Resulillah amma ba'du This is Arabic class number two We're going out of the Medina course, book one Ad-Darsa Thani Ad-Darsa Thani Ma thalika? Thalika al-Najmun Hatha masjidun وذلك بيت هذا حصان وذلك حمار أذلك كلب لا ذلك كت ما ذلك ذلك سرير من هذا ومن ذلك هذا مدرس وذلك إمام ما ذلك ذلك هجر هذا سكر وذلك لبن. This this chapter is dealing with ذلك. Now first we must see what's the meaning of ذلك. Now the meaning of ذلك is اسم إشارة المذكر للبعيد ومشار عليه مفرد ومذكر. The ذلك is a noun which points to something that's masculine. That's far away, and that is, is also pointing to that which is singular, and also points to that which is singular. And in this chapter, it talks about and it tells you, it gives you some examples. It say, "Mazadika, what is that? Something that's far away from you, not something that's near. If you see in less than one, it does with have which is something that is close to you." Now you do with something. Now it's teaching you how to say when you want to ask about something that's far away from you. You say "mazalika," something without an akal. If you remember from lesson one, the difference between "mahaza" and "minhaza" is that "mahaza" is dealing with that which is that which has no intellect, much as a pen, a book, a computer, a table, and like that. And "minhaza" is dealing with something with the akal. Like a man, a woman, a doctor, engineer, and like that. The same thing applies to Thalika. That which, when Mazalika is going to that which is without well, the If you If you see uh, a table, you in the living room, and you see a table in the dining room, and you, and you don't know what type of table it is, you say Mazalika. What is that? And they say Thalika. Ma'i, that one. Or, Zalika Kursiyun. Or Zalika Funun. And stuff like that. <clears throat> and that's the notes for uh, the car he does for, book, for lesson two. Now it says, Tamarina Owen. Ikara Waktu. Read and write. And as was mentioned in class one, once you see these exercises and it starts to give you the sentences without the harakat, without the vowels, then they're only giving you the sentence which you already has went over with the vowels on it. So, it has, هَذَا سُكَّرٌ وَذَلِكَ لَبَنٌ مَنْ ذَلِكَ ذَلِكَ إِمَامٌ أَذَلِكَ كِتٌ no, as was mentioned in lesson one, when the alif, the istifham is placed in front of the word, in front of the sentence, it comes from being a regular sentence to a sentence which asks you a question. A valika kitun? Is this a cat? La valika kalbun? No, that, or excuse me, is that a cat? No, that is a dog. Woman valika? Who is that? Far away. Ba'idun. Far away. Thalika imamun. That is a leader. The imam. Ma hadha. What is this? Close. Hadha hajarun. This is a rock. Al kalima tajadid. Now they're starting to give you vocabulary words. Which is one of the major points to understand the Arabic language. Is that. You build your vocabulary. 
and they start you off in book two will give you vocabulary is to give you a feeling to give you four new words to memorize Imamun a leader Hajarun a rock Sukkarun sugar Lebanon milk they give you four common words for the one who is beginning their they search of seeking knowledge of the Arabic language we go to the masjid, we always see Imam on, we always see the Imam we walking down the street or walking anywhere on a bus anywhere we going, we see a hajar we see rocks something that's, that's, that's in everybody's house sukkah sugar another thing that's in everybody's house Lebanon, milk so the author may Allah have his mercy and his blessing upon the author he gives you four common words that's commonly used. He's not the only commonly used words, but he brings four commonly used words that's usually used on a regular basis in the beginning of the chapter. In this chapter. So in Charlotte Tyler is a side note, I'm gonna say the the Qaidas again. The Qaida for lesson two is the same as that Qaidas for lesson one, except that you're using Zalika instead of Hadha but the same rules applies Zalika Ismu isharatan al-mudhakkirun lil-ba'idi wa mishari alayhi mufrad wa mudhakkir ma faraka bayna ma zalika wa man zalika ma zalika li ghayr al-akili wa man zalika lil-akili that Zalika means is a noun which points to something that's masculine that's far away and also points to something that is singular so note that anytime you use dalika it must be masculine it must be singular and it must be something that's far away from you and then you must note that the difference between using ma dalika and men and men dalika is that Mazalika is used for something without an akum. Kitabun, Kursiyun, Maidatun, Kadalika. And Mandalika is used for something with an akum. Talibun, Rajalun, Waladun, Bintun, Wahakada. And this is the end of today's class. And anything that I said that was correct is from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything that I said that was wrong or was a mistake, this comes from myself and the shaitan. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu wa la ilaha ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Wa akhir da'wana. Inna alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.